Hey guys, Too Legit City here, and today we're gonna be going over some Oni basics. We're gonna be going over the building, the pitcher pump. The pitcher pump is typically the building you would use to pump up water manually with a duplicate labor from a pool of water. As you can see right here, the pitcher pump is inside of the pool of water. And one of the things we're gonna talk about with the pitcher pump is the roots of it. So you guys already know that having a pitcher pump, your duplicates could stand on the platform and there is a root part that extends at the bottom. One of the things that a lot of people may not know about it, and this was actually an updated in uh, sometime during the DLC process, but the roots right here in the beginning used to actually just stay fixated. Now, if you actually dig out or remove the tiles that are blocking out the roots from expanding, they will actually expand naturally. As we could see right here, the roots will expand down as long as it can now. And that means if you have it on a ledge like this, you could easily dig out a couple more tiles so that it reaches the bottom. Now, of course, the pitcher pump is going to be the starting way for you to grab water and it's something that you guys are going to mess with a lot of the times. Now we're going to show you one trick with the pitcher pump that's really weird that really just talks about the mechanics of it and how things really work. That trick is going to be using the pitcher pump to pump up magma. We'll talk about what you need to accomplish in order to have this work. But basically the pitcher pump building is only these tiles right here. These eight tiles is the actual building in and of itself, and the roots part of it is a separate building. It's very weird how that works, and for the most part, if your pitcher pump is in a vacuum like we are, there is no heat transfer in a vacuum. Now, the roots part, you can see it's touching the magma directly, and we already took out a bottle of magma via the pitcher pump, and that's a way for you to actually remove lava if that's something you guys need to do. This trick is actually very good on the volcano asteroid where when you land with your rocket, you might have just pools, just oceans of magma and you don't know what to do with it. What you could actually do is build a pitcher pump so that the roots touch the magma and nothing else. And if it's in a vacuum, it's never gonna break. The game is running right now. The temperature of the pitcher pump never actually goes up. By using this trick and getting magma in bottled form, you could easily remove the magma. And if you actually built something like this, you could empty out the magma here. As you can see, we could select it. And if it drops onto a space exposure vacuum like this, it's gonna get immediately deleted. This is gonna be an easy way for you to get rid of the vacuum. If you have to run into the volcanic planet where the oceans of magma is surrounding your launch pad for your rocket platform but of course in order to accomplish this first thing you need to have is a vacuum make sure that the eight tiles right here don't touch the magma and then any part of the roots that do is going to be fine but that's going to be the pitcher pump basics with that little trick of pumping magma with the pitcher pump if you guys have any questions about this leave a comment down below and of course guys don't forget to like and subscribe thank you guys